Good morning students today we are going to study beekeeping and fisheries another two important aspects of animal husbandry beekeeping is also known as apiculture which is the maintenance of bee hives of honey bees for the production of honey it has been age old cottage industry honey is a food of high nutritive value and also finds use in indigenous system of medicines honey bee also produces bees wax which finds many uses in industries such as in preparation of cosmetics polishes of various kinds etc the increased demand of honey has led to be large scale beekeeping practices it has become an established income generating industry whether practiced on a small or a large scale beekeeping can be practiced in any area where there are sufficient bee pastures pastures means the fields where the bee can find nectar fruit orchards wild shrubs and cultivated crops are used by honey bees for their nectar there are several species of honey bees which can be reared of these the most common is apis indica bee hives can be kept in one's courtyard or on the veranda of the house or even on the roof bee keeping is not labor intensive it is not labor intensive though it requires some specialized knowledge and there are several organization that teach bee keeping the following points are important in successful bee keeping first knowledge of the nature and habits of bees second selection of suitable location for keeping the bee hives location that may be near the pastures catching and hiving of swarms that is group of bees management of bee hives during different season and handling and collection of honey and bees wax bees are the pollinators of many of our crop species such as sunflower brassica apple and pear so keeping bee hives in crop fields during flowering period increases pollination efficiency and improves the yield beneficial both from the point of view of crop yield and honey yield so often farmers can keep the bees very easily in, uh, before or beside their farms let us study bee keeping in some more detail it is keeping of the economical important insect honey bee where does this honey comes from we know that the bees collects nectar and form honey as well as bees wax from their wax glands honey is commonly used for medicinal benefits it is used in several ayurvedic preparations and in various food products bees wax is collected from the wax glands of the bees and used to form candles cosmetics creams ointments paints and etc the process of maintaining and rearing honey bee in colonies and hives is apiculture the place where the bees are reared is known as apiary mainly four species of honey bees are used for this rearing purpose they are apis dorsata apis indica apis floria and apis mellifera composition of honey includes 17 to 25% water 70 to 80% sugar 4.2% minerals vitamin and ash 1% sugar include levulose glucose sucrose and dextrin it is a food of high nutritive value and medicinal value honey bee is a social insect and it lives in colonies mainly three kind of bees are there queen bee worker bee and drones queen bee it is the fully developed functional female with a developed female reproductive system it is largest in size and it produces eggs at the rate of 800 to 1500 per day the eggs are of two types fertilized eggs and unfertilized eggs fertilized eggs 
produces a sterile female worker while unfertilized eggs produce fertile males worker bees are sterile females number 20000 to 30000 in a hive they are smaller and they have strong wings for flying their life span is about 35 days worker bees also perform several duties like cleaning the hive feeding the larvae and queen bee guarding the entrance of hive collecting the food that is nectar drones they are fertile male bees they mate with queen bee the number is very low that is 60 to 70 they lack sting and wax glands the life span is about 60 days some common functions done by both drone and worker are they sense temperature variation in the hive if temperature become high they remove heat by moving air their wings if the temperature is low they start shivering and produces heat in the hive next is fisheries it is an industry devoted to catching processing or selling of fish keep in mind catching processing and selling of fish and shellfish or other aquatic animals a large number of our population is dependent on fish fish products and other aquatic animals such as prawn crab lobster edible oyster etc for food some of the freshwater fishes which are very common include katla rohu and common carp some of the marine fishes that are eaten include hilsa sardines mackerel and pomfrets fisheries has an important place in indian economy it provides income and employment to millions of fishermen and farmers particularly in the coastal states for many it is only source of their livelihood in order to meet the increasing demands on fisheries different techniques have been employed to increase the production for example through aquaculture and pisciculture what are aquaculture and pisciculture so rearing and culturing of aquatic organisms and fishes is known as aquaculture and pisciculture it has been employed to increase production we have been able to increase production of aquatic plants and animals both freshwater and marine difference between pisciculture and aquaculture pisciculture is the culturing and rearing of fishes only while aquaculture includes rearing and culturing of plants fishes and other aquatic animals this has led to development and flourishing of fishery industry and it has brought a lot of income to the farmers in particular and the country in general we now talk about blue revolution has been implemented along the same lines as green revolution for plants let us understand it in some more detail fish production is of true fish as well as the other aquatic animals such as prawns crabs shellfishes etc capturing fishing from natural resources and fish farming or culture fishery these are two types marine fisheries the fishes are as we have seen earlier hilsa sardine pomfret and mackerel while some fresh water fishes are katla rohu common carp etc from inland fisheries the people catch the fishes and sell them complete fish culture system includes the fishes which are surface feeders middle feeders and bottom line feeders all kinds of fishes are used in composite fish culture system we can see katlas rohus mrigals common carps and grass carps these are the fishes which feed at the different levels in the sea from the next lectures we will be studying about plant breeding